Well, we still had beautiful oh. views here in Illinois. Clear skies, blue, oh. no clouds. Thank goodness it wasn't <laughs> yesterday. Right. right. <laughs> uh, no, it was beautiful. And then to hit 71 on top of it all, when usually we see about 56 this time of year. Now, we are following a front that's going to cloud us up close to midnight. So that's why we're calling for mostly cloudy skies at 11 o'clock. But that front has no moisture to work with. So it comes through dry. What it does is shift the wind. So we've had a mild south and southwest wind all day. It shifts the wind westerly tomorrow. That's going to draw in slightly cooler air. So we have a mild air mass for now. We have the front we're following and behind it, the winds wrap around this area of low pressure and that's going to be pulling in this west wind. So as the front progresses eastward, it opens the door for that wind flow. That's why I'm forecasting 60s instead of 70s, but still that's 10 degrees above average. We still are ahead of the front though. Winds are out of the south at 10, holding at 64 as we take a live look here at Oak Street Beach. Kind of quiet, but boy, people were anxious today to get outside and at least walk along the lakefront and then hang out just watching these partial eclipse today here in Chicago. 50 degrees for us tonight with those scattered clouds. Now tomorrow with those west winds, I still think we will be in the 60s even at the lakefront. So in the loop, 62, Winnetka, Evanston also, Highland Park about 61. We'll see 65 in Wheaton and Naperville and mid 60s through Orland Park and Harvey, Northwest Indiana as well. It will be mild. Valparaiso 67, Westville and Maryville 66 degrees. That water temperature is still 44, but I do think this west wind will be dominant enough to hold off any lakefront cooling. So high pressure is weak and kind of sitting overhead, keeping us dry tomorrow, dry Wednesday, Wednesday night, but Thursday. That's our soaker and it may last into Friday as well. 70% chance of rain Thursday. It's out of here in time for the weekend. So while we have mild winds tonight, the next two days feature high pressure. Then Wednesday we cloud up as rain that starts building across the area for Thursday. A large shield of rain overhead morning, midday, night, just passing showers will be with us. And then that northwesterly flow Friday, here's noon. That's enough instability over the lake to generate those lakeside showers and a few may hug the Chicago coast. But if you're going out Friday night, things will dry out in time for a beautiful weekend. So Friday evening looks dry and quiet. And gosh, on Saturday and Sunday, look at that. We might be a few degrees cooler lakeside because I think the winds will be so light. We'll pick up a light lake breeze, but otherwise we're going 65 Saturday, 75 on Sunday. So it looks like we've turned a corner as compared to last week, right? Right. Big changes <laughs> in the best way. Thank you, Mary Kay.